say that kind of jokingly and try not to act like a typical accountant, but I also think it helps me in dealing with people. I mean, I think we get a bad rap as accountants. There were these wild and crazy and obnoxious <laughs> party animals all the time. That's not really the case. Um, but I, I do like to differentiate myself from other accountants because I, I want to relate to people, and I think uh, a lot of us in the profession have a hard time communicating with others, and um, so I, I like to think that's one of the qualities that I have um, that's, that, that helps me um, develop business. Uh, I will say too that I don't have a lot, or I don't have anything prepared here, so I'm gonna, there's probably plenty of time for tax questions uh, at the end. Um, we, we were actually out of town this weekend, uh, took our son up to look for home in Milwaukee, he got a job up there, so he's gonna be, um, still be a Bronco fan though, so don't worry, Cynthia. No, and, one more. Uh, so let me first say that I too am not a stickler for the rules. Uh, you know, rules don't really matter in tax law too much. <laughs> you usually start at the bottom on the 1040 and then work out. <laughs> And then the, the, the client had said something to the effect that, uh, yeah, I'm all for tax evasion. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, no, tax evasion. <laughs> we'll get you behind bars. Tax evasion. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a libertarian, so <laughs> I'm with them. So, uh, Ashley, maybe your own divorce attorney. Thank you. <laughs> um, so just a little bit about what we do. Obviously, I do taxes primarily. That's uh, the core of my business. Um, not only preparing taxes, but tax planning, which is what I really like to do, because that's where I can save people money. If you come to me in April and say, hey, I want to save money on my taxes, it's kind of hard after the fact, if we're talking about the prior year, uh, there's not much we can do at that point, maybe a retirement plan, an IRA or something. <coughs> even those are, even that can be very limited. So um, that's what I really like to do is meet with people in the summer and fall and, or sooner and get things in place to figure out uh, how we can save them money. Um, we, we also do um, accounting and bookkeeping. Um, I have a, a QuickBooks Pro advisor on my staff and a little luck. I think I'm I have another one here starting before too long. Um, someone that used to work for me and um, found out the grass was not really greener at another. Actually, she went, she went to a private industry and um, things weren't as promised. So she's coming back. So that's yes. cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, we do. And as part of that, we do. Um, you know, as part of the bookkeeping and accounting, we we do payroll services. It's not something that we're dying to do, uh, but we do it for a lot of our clients because it, it makes sense to keep things uh, kind of in one umbrella. We have a lot of single or, or dual member S corporations that we work with. So if they just have, if they're the only employee, it makes a lot of sense for us to just do it because we can tweak things as we go along uh, in terms of withholding and, um, and what their salary should be in terms of a reasonable salary. Um, we do, um, a lot of business consulting. I help businesses decide, uh, mm -hmm. confer with Brandon a lot on what type of entity they, they should be. Um, it's a very important decision in the beginning when you're structuring your business, how best to uh, to prepare uh, for how your business is gonna grow. And that can change over time. You might start out uh, being one thing and then morph into something else over time as your business grows. But uh, um, I've seen a lot of mistakes made by other accountants, at least what I perceive to be mistakes based on what I've been told uh, by the client. Um, also represent people uh, in audits. I've actually 
been engaged a number of times where someone else is prepared to return and either the person is not qualified to represent them or they're not comfortable being represented by that person, uh, they will, you know, get in contact with me and I can actually represent them before the IRS. Uh, you, you can only be represented in an audit, in which I would highly recommend that you not go to an audit yourself and say something that gets you in trouble or mistakenly um, admit something that gets interpreted incorrectly. But the only people that can represent you uh, with you not being there in an audit are attorneys, enrolled agents before the IRS and CPA. So um, just something to keep in mind. Um, any any tax questions? Anything, Diane? You glossed over something brief quickly that is a huge differentiator. There are a billion CPAs. CPAs, people who focus on preparing taxes. But that tax planning part is so critical and he's very good at that. And I just think it's really, really good to have someone who can do both. And that's something. He's also a certified financial planner, which means he gets the investment side of the world too. So when you have a CPA who's already gonna be able to work with your advisor, that's a golden ticket. So I just wanna. Thank you, Diane, I appreciate important. that. And that's a good point. I am a certified financial planner, but I don't sell things. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I can give an objective opinion and I, I uh, often am asked to do that, but, but it really helps me work with an advisor like Diane where we can exchange information and decide. We just had one recently where uh, Diane was inquiring about the tax implications of something and uh, it's a mutual client and you know, it, it just, it's just, it's a good it's relationship. Really nice. Yeah, Matt. Um, so my dad's business just had, uh, well he's getting audited, they actually knocked on his business's door you know, just showed up to do the audit. What do you suggest? At Without? That point? Yeah, my dad didn't see anything in the mail. I mean, he told him to go away. Yeah, I would tell him to go away. Because <laughs> you know the IRS people are so friendly. You would, have him, would have him contact that person's supervisor and say, this okay. happened, uh, I wouldn't give any notice. I okay. need to get, you know, get my stuff organized or get uh, get an advisor to represent have his CPA do it. Yeah, I, I would strongly recommend that because I, I don't like people doing that themselves, so. Um, what, what kind of cost do you incur by having a representative? Uh, boy, it's hard to say because you don't know the extent of the... It doesn't matter. Well, yeah, that... Yeah. Because um, it can, it can run into several thousand dollars just in representation because yeah. it, things can drag on, so. Okay. Um, I'm about out of time here, so uh, just uh, one final thing. Uh, just I would say that, as Diane mentioned, there are there are three types of accountants that uh, you, you want to look at this before you decide. Those who can count and those who can't. Thank you. <laughs>